Hi friends, my name is Rohan Bharatchandra. The following are five investing thumb rules which everybody must be aware of. Knowing about these rules will make you a smarter investor and will help you plan your investments better. Rule number one is called rule of 70. This rule helps you understand your future buying power. It will indicate in how many years will the value of your money get reduced by half its present value. Divide 70 by the current inflation rate and will give you the number of years that the money value will become half. Suppose current inflation is 7%, then 70 divided by 7, 10 years later your money value will be half or the purchasing power of your money reduces. This means that 10 years later today's rupees 10,000 can buy only rupees 5,000 worth of goods. So today if you need to spend rupees 10,000 for a month's grocery items, you will require around 20,000 to buy the same grocery items 10 years later due to inflation. It means that you will need to have a larger corpus for your further expenses compared to what you may estimate based on current expenses. Rule number 2 is 100 minus your age rule. This rule helps you understand what is the maximum percentage of money you can invest in stocks. Your equity investment percentage is equal to 100 minus your age. So for example, if your age is 30, you can invest 100 minus 30 equal to 70% of your total assets in stocks for long term. In fact, it can be much lower. This is a maximum percentage. If your age is 48, then you should invest a maximum of 52% of your total assets in stocks. To be more conservative, you may even change this rule to 90 minus your age so that the percentage invested in stocks may be slightly lower. Invest money in stocks only when you have sufficient risk appetite to face notional loss on your investment for a few years. Stock markets go up and down and hence you need to invest money which you do not need for at least 6 years. Rule number 3 is called rule of 72. This rule helps you understand the time taken for your money to double or what is the return received if your money doubles in a particular period. The formula is 72 divided by rate of return is equal to time for investment to double. Suppose you are getting 5% per annum interest in bank FD, then 72 divided by 5, 14.4 years for your money to double. Suppose you receive 18% per annum returns from stock markets, then 72 divided by 18 is equal to 4 years for your money to double in stock markets and accordingly you can do calculation for any percentage. 72 is constant. Similarly, if somebody tells you that your money will double in 6 years, it means that 72 divided by 6 12% per annum returns you will receive. So the formula can be used 72 divided by rate of return is equal to time for investment to double or 72 divided by time period is equal to rate of return. Ega on the announcement on the webinar is how to create profit from stock markets. Idu nadiyavanta do bhanuvara 15 tarikh October velige 10 varinda madhyana 12 gante 45 divas varige tappade attend aage anta salaha kodta idane Cost to Mother Epata Janaka, Bakanta, only one nineteen and it live, Ada Mele, Nanora, Tabata Mata Kobute. Doctor Marachandra graduates of E particular webinar, Baru Abata Tela. Other a seat of Nevita, Mother Nureva Janaka, first come, first away. Ega, Nama webinar, Nali, Yen Helpurte with the Kutu Ledre, Mother Ledagi, how profitable stock markets are in the long term and short term. Yakandre, Tumba Janake, Yen feeling on Tandre, stock market under loss. Illy, profit hegi there, but to heg one more than Mundin the Nagle, another Maga on the Stadia for Teve, Amele, stock market and Magage, top of Fibrotical and Tayudu, basic fundamental analysis, basic technical analysis help for Teve. Andre, fundamental analysis Kaldre, Nimage, long term early, not the Mutuana, I do have to Hadine Ipat personally, voting at Lily, New Padibodo. But the new technical analysis of the culture, you get the two Ipatu Vosara, Ara Magi extra Padibo. Ega, number webinar, register one again, very simple. Click on the payment link in the description box below. But the webinar link shortly, you may get email and even not the put there. Rule number 4 is called the EMI rule. This rule guides you on what is the maximum amount you should pay as EMI every month from various loans. The EMI for all your loans should not be more than 40% of your monthly income. If your monthly income is 60,000, then not more than 24,000 should go towards EMIs. 
even banks check your capacity to repay loans based on this rule itself so this gives you some kind of comfort you should not go beyond that rule number 5 is called the 4% withdrawal rule or 25 times living expenses rule this rule gives you an idea of how much liquid net worth you should have to be financially independent you should have a liquid corpus such that 4% withdrawal of the corpus amount every year should take care of your yearly living expenses suppose your monthly expenses are 40000 then you require 4.8 lakhs per annum minimum so 4.8 lakhs into 25 years 120 lakhs or 1.2 crores this is the amount you may require approximately for 25 years of living expenses if you have this money then you can say that you are financially independent studies have shown that if you have 25 to 30 times your yearly living expenses in liquid instruments such as stocks mutual funds bank accounts etc then you are financially independent and you can decide whether you want to continue to work for money or not own house should not be included in the calculation of liquid net worth if you like this video please click the like button and type in the comment section how many of these investing thumb rules were you already aware of a none b 1 to 2 C three to four rules and D all the five rules you are aware and accordingly you are using it for your financial planning. So this was today's video. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button and bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye and all the best.